Apple's new iPhone is called the iPhone C, and it's the new cheap iPhone that while offering a host of cutting-edge features the new iPhone C was originally expected to be called the iPhone 9 but the company has decided to return to the same moniker first used in 2016 so we'll be calling it the iPhone C 2020 for clarity here and no Apple hasn't told us officially what the C stands for here's everything we know about Apple's new and cheaper iPhone and it's good news if you were missing the home button the iPhone C 2020 release date is Friday April 24th with pre-orders opening at the end of this week Friday April 17th going live at BSD the iPhone C price starts at $399 419 pounds meaning it's the same price in the US as the original iPhone C but higher in the UK the base model comes with 64 gigabytes of storage with 128 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes models also available for a higher price in the US Apple is offering the new iPhone C at $16.62 per month through its financing plan or if you have something like the iPhone 8 to trade in just $9.54 per month or $200 $129 if you are upgrading from the original iPhone C or iPhone 6 you only get $30 toward the full price of the device if you're familiar with the design of the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 7 iPhone 6s and iPhone 6 come to think of it then you already know what the new iPhone C looks like it's backwards compatible with all iPhone 8 cases and has the same 4.7 inches retina HD display as found on the last 4.7 inches model 1334 by 750 with a 326 pixels per inch sharpness it gets the same true tone technology as the latest models too enabling it to adapt to the lighting conditions around you and make the screen's white balance to warmer or cooler as it looks like an iPhone 8 that means there's a touch ID home button built into the bottom bezel on the phone's front you'll be able to unlock your phone with your fingerprint using this rather than using face ID as on other modern iPhones it also means there's no notch here as there is on several recent iPhone models and Instead there's a bezel at the top of the display, as well as at the bottom with the top bezel housing the selfie camera. The phone is IP67 dust and water resistant which means it'll be able to survive the odd splash of water or outing in the rain. You've got the choice of three colors, black, white or product red. That's just another name for red on the bottom edge of the iPhone. Say you'll find the lightning connector for charging your device. As was widely expected there's no 3.5mm headphone jack so you'll have to purchase an adapter if you want to use wireless headphones decisions iPhone say 2020 versus iPhone 11 Apple's cheapest phones compared while the design of the iPhone say 2020 might seem similar to the iPhone 8 inside it's a different story where the iPhone 8 used the a 11 bionic chip said the new iPhone say packs the same a 13 bionic engine that powers the iPhone 11 range that's a pretty big improvement for the new iPhone say Apple says it's up to 40% faster than the iPhone 8 and more than twice as fast as the iPhone iPhone say 2016 that it's technically replacing it allows the speed under the finger to be improved in a range of ways faster snapping between apps is a given although we've not tried the phone yet ourselves to confirm this and things like video editing on your device and computational photography more on that in the next section are now possible what's interesting is that Apple is stating that the iPhone says battery life will be the same as that of the iPhone 8 despite the A13 chip being more efficient in terms of power that means you should be expect up to 12 hours of internet use or as we noted in our iPhone 8 review it'll last just about a day on a single charge you'll be able to buy a separate iPhone fast charger to power up your new iPhone say more quickly so if you go for one with 18 watts of power or more you'll be able to get topped up in less time than using the standard USB to lightning plug that comes in the box so oh, and you'll be able to charge the new iPhone say wirelessly with a Qi charger too we've yet to learn how much RAM will be included in the device for storage as mentioned your options are 64 gigabytes 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes and there's no micros to support for expanding this so make your decision wisely the phone will come running the latest version of iOS 13 out of the box so you can expect all of the software features that the most recent iPhones have the new iPhone say 2020 camera is where Apple has placed a lot of importance talking about the extra capabilities it'll be 
imbued with it'll be based on similar specs to those seen in the iPhone 8 which comes with a 12 MP sensor and an f 1.8 aperture for fairly decent low light photos although it'll be a far cry from the high end photography features of the iPhone 11 range despite only packing a single sensor not even the dual sensor setup found in the iPhone 8 plus Apple is still logging this as the best single sensor snapper it's ever created thus making it even better than the iPhone XR's camera so while the hardware seems very similar to that in the iPhone 8 with a 6 element lens. Setup and optical image stabilization The A13 chipset allows for better correction of shape during video playback as well as a smart image processor to make your snaps look better. It also brings portrait mode and the full gamut of effects from standard background blur to the odd stage light mono to the single sensor as well as we saw with the iPhone XR like that model it'll only be able to add those effects to snaps of humans but our review of the XR found that it was a poor relation to the portrait capabilities of a phone like the iPhone XS which has extra hardware to do the job. The front-facing camera has been given the same algorithmic upgrade as the rear sensor meaning portrait mode selfies without the need for a separate sensor to check the depth and find the subject however what Apple has done here is bring its smart computational photography to a cheaper iPhone meaning it let the onboard engine do the work in terms of making your pictures look as good as they can it'll be as good as the iPhone 11 range at working out what's being photographed and analyzing each section even going as far as dividing up the separate elements of facial features and brightening and sharpening where needed it'll theoretically be able to combine a range of exposures to create a clear bright image with very low shutter lag under the finger and be able to shoot high-end 4k video at 60 frames per second too given that the new iphone say is coming with a similar price tag to the iphone 8 but with the promise of much better photos you can see why apple is going to be making a big deal about the camera upgrade how does the iphone say 2020 compare to the iphone 11 range well for starters the iphone say 2020 will be a much cheaper device that the entry-level iphone 11 as you've probably worked out in fact it's half the cost a lot of what's been sacrificed to keep the price down is in the design the screen technology and quality on the iPhone 11 is far ahead of that in the new iPhone say which is using the same screen setup as the iPhone 8 from 2017 by repurposing the iPhone 8's design and imbuing it with a faster engine and the smarts that allows Apple was able to offer the cheaper iPhone in the same way it launched the iPhone say in 2016 all the benefits of the older design but with more powerful innards users who hate the thought of losing the home button should be really considering checking the new iPhone say out as soon as possible we'll try and get our hands on one as soon as we can to tell you how it performs as it'll likely be the last phone Apple makes with this piece of physical hardware don't forget it's not actually a clickable button it'll be the phone many tell their parents to buy as it'll last at least three cycles of new iOS launches if not more so stay tuned to see just how well it fares well let me know what you think on the comment below and sub will be awesome if you are new in this channel thanks for watching and see you on my next video